Renaissance Junior, all is well and all is in divine order. Thank you for that powerful, powerful song. Everyone, repeat after me. The God in me, the Christ in me, is my help and strength. And I can do all things through the God, through the Christ in me. This morning, I want us to think back on our early, early childhood when parents constantly fed us messages and the idea that we can do anything and we should not be afraid of anything or anyone. Believe in yourself and I will help you. Isn't that a familiar message from our parents? We learned songs that reinforced the notion that we were to be the best we could be and be a standout. I remember a song we sang in Sunday school. It's probably the only song that I ever cared to remember because it was so positive and uplifting. It's an easy song that you probably know too. I won't sing it, but the words provide a contextual framework for our message this morning. The song is the classic, This Little Light of Mine. Remember the chorus of that song? It's very simplistic in nature. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Everywhere I go, I'm going to let my light shine. That gospel song, and please remember that the word gospel means good news. That good news song is telling us that we have a light within us and we have an option of letting it shine or letting it dim. Do you know that you have a light within you? Are you letting that light shine, shine brightly? See, our spiritual nature is divine from the source that is light. We are one with the spiritual source, God, the universe. As spiritual beings living in a human experience, light and illumination began to answer the question for us. Who are we and what is our purpose? We are light, we are love, and we are here to illuminate the world with our divine gifts that live and breathe within this, inside of each and every one of us. Illumination is so important, so very important. Why? Because illumination eliminates darkness. Illumination eliminates darkness. It eliminates darkness. We cast light on dark places, dark experiences, dark thoughts. We walk through the peaks and the valleys of our life seeking light to be cast on, shown on the path that we're traveling. God said, let there be light. And we seek light every day, don't we? Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. And but the outward light we seek, the light on our outward pathway, our human pathway, is really generated from our inward light. Let me rewind and play that again. The outward light that we seek the light our human pathway is generated from our inward light. See, there is something that we keep forgetting. We keep forgetting that we are more than our eyes, ears, nose, mouth can sense, to feel. There's a hidden part of us, a hidden part of us that keeps on losing the awareness, the connection, the alignment to the universe, the universe of God. It is our spiritual nature, our spiritual nature. Let there be light. Today, let's cast a light on our spiritual nature so we can understand, appreciate, value, and put to use our co-creative abilities and power for the remainder of our human experience. We are never powerless. We are never alone. Let there be light. Let us walk by faith, not by sight. Let us walk through the shadow of death and know there's a light guiding us forward. You ever had that experience of saying, I can't believe my eyes? I can't believe my eyes. Look again. Make it a habit to look again. Look again with spiritual lenses, spiritual eyes. A new spiritual lens and spiritual eyes allows us to begin to return to the co-creation power and process. Because so many times we're asking ourselves and asking other people, what are the steps to return to the co-creation power as spiritual beings having a human experience? The thing about us, yes, we do get lost in life. 
Yes, we do get lonely and we do keep wanting to think of ourselves as limited in our abilities, our capacity to make good things happen when we see the presence of bad things. We have this tendency to tell ourselves, well, I'm only human. I'm only human. Have you ever said that about yourself to yourself? And it relieves us of the expectation to overcome, to supersede, to transcend, to move around, above, beyond problems and tough situations. I'm only human. All those times that seem to have us hanging on a string, life cliffhanger moments, what will happen next? Mirror, mirror on the wall, will I rise or will I fall? We're in pain, we're mourning, we're grieving, we're upset, we're sad, we're hurt, we're angry. But the real roadblock is we're scared to move on that path forward, afraid to move on up. What are the steps that can help us move on up? What are the steps to getting back in the spiritual groove of things? How do we restore, rejuvenate, reignite that co-creation power that's within us? It's our gift. The principles and steps that I'm about to share will work for any and everybody if you apply them. Even in the times where you feel pressed, depressed, and a mess from all the things that you've seen, all the things you've done, the ways you've been victimized, your light is out, it's dim, it's darkened. But here are some things that you might want to consider in those situations to handle your pressure, your pain, your problems. Hmm. Let's think about this. Be still. Be still and know there's a greater presence within you, around you, that wants to be activated. Now, whenever you're feeling weary or wandering, when you face a setback, it's really the perfect set up for a come up. Tell yourself this situation, this challenge, this problem is just a stress test. See, you're being stretched by the stress. God knows that stretching lets us take on a new shape, a new form to transform. So through the stress and stretching, don't look back at your past. We're looking forward. Be a forward thinking person. Remember, Philippians 3 says, forgetting those things of the past, I press forward toward the high calling, the new mark, the new beginning, the transformation I transcend all the things of my past. And next we say, be kind to yourself and honor your feelings. Embrace all the feelings and emotions, but don't be remorseful about moving forward. Tell yourself, I must go to my higher self. It's time. It's time to go to your higher self. I know that you've been wounded, battered, bruised, feeling misused, unworthy, but the feeling that you're feeling. Feel it and move on. Don't turn back and be turned to salt, as we say. Let the past stay in the past. God, the Christ in you, will be present and be a present help as we move forward. And all of us will move forward at a different speed with different needs, but the Christ in us will power us through. And as we said before, with God, all things become possible through that Christ, that inner God within each and every one of us. But to activate that co-creation process, we must take ourselves to a higher level of love. This new vibrational frequency allows us to hear and see in a new way. We sing in a new tune. God is love. And you're made in the image and likeness of God. So you always have the capacity to love at a higher level. Love, to give love and to receive love. That change, that transformation, that metamorphosis is not a loss. It's never a loss when you move on. When you let the past stay in the past. It is the love of God that's closing the door and opening a new door for you. The love of God is transforming you and taking you through a metamorphosis that forever sees you stronger, better, more vibrant, and in love with self, 
and others and the gift that we call life. And so we love at a new level. See, this new level of love allows us to project ourselves, our heart, our mind, and spirit as becoming more and more and more likened and walking as one with God. As we say, two sets of footprints become one. Enjoy waking up every day saying, I am emerging. More Christ is moving forward. We affirm that as I give up and I give in, I get up and I get into a greater force for my good and the greater things to happen to me, through me, and as me. I become committed to letting my human experience be led by the Christ that lives within me. And I am synchronized forever and always with the God, the Christ that is greater than me in my human self. Amen, amen, and amen. And so it is. Renaissance Unity, I love you and there's nothing you can do about it. So try loving me back and everyone back. And on this Memorial Day, we say to those individuals who served in our armed forces, we appreciate you. And those who have experienced the loss of a loved one, we memorialize them today. And we honor their presence in our hearts and our minds and in our spirits. And so it is.